This video will demonstrate robotic assisted bronchoscopy ion equipment and setup. The ion robotic system comprises of the robotic arm platform, controller unit, planning laptop, and an encrypted USB. System is stored plugged into the outlet at all times. A steady blue light indicates system startup has been initiated. Guided setup instructions are provided on the monitors on the ION system and the controller unit. The first step for system setup is provided on the controller unit. The robotic system arm is moved away from the monitors to unfold the double screens. Use the touch screen to initiate system tests on the controller unit. Ensure that there is space for the robotic arm movements during calibration. Following instructions on the monitors, attach the catheter guide to the robotic arm. The system auto-detects the correct completion of a step and will then provide the next setup for the process. The sensor connections are cleaned at least three times each on the arm carriage sensor port and catheter center port. This step is shown here. After cleaning the sensor connections, thread the catheter and install the unit on the robotic arm. The catheter performs self-tests with rotational movements, as shown here. The vision probe is assembled as the next step. Next, thread the vision probe adapter onto the probe and secure it in place before attaching the probe on the robotic arm. Test to ensure the vision probe is detected by the monitor as secured. Next, insert the vision probe into the catheter. The patient plan is loaded by inserting the USB drive onto the controller unit. Select the patient plan to be loaded on the controller unit. The ION system comes with its own specific ET tube swivel connector adapter. Once the patient has been intubated, the ET tube is secured in place. The arm clutch is pressed for 3 seconds to mobilize it and attach the ION system specific swivel connector to the docking arm. The patient is placed on any fluoroscopy compatible bed before intubation. Make sure to relieve any tension in the arm so that there is no detachment during the procedure. Any detachment mid-procedure will require re-registration and restarting the procedure. The robotic arm is lowered for easy system access. A silicone-based lubricant is used to lubricate the catheter beforehand. The lubricated catheter is then inserted into the ET tube. Finally, extend the catheter guide on the system arm and secure it in place. Feed connectors are provided at the back of the robotic console. First, a cable connection is made from the robot to the Olympus processor. This allows for visualization of radial probe EBUS images on the robotic monitor. Next, the fluoroscopy equipment is connected to the robotic console for visualization of live fluoroscopic images during the procedure on the robotic monitor. In this video, the GE 2D fluoroscopy equipment is depicted as an example.
Properly connected, the robotic monitors will allow visualization of radial probe and fluoroscopic images simultaneously. Navigation can now begin. Shown here is one example of the overall room setup for ion robotic bronchoscopy procedure.